Hey guys, this is Michael Gass, Senior Sales and Tech Support, PDS Equipment. Quick video today on creating cut lines from text. Pretty basic video. Most of you may know how to do this, but I get asked about this quite a bit. So here we go. Super quick and easy video. So the first thing you want to do is create some text. Today we're going to go with the uh, provocative and sometimes controversial happy birthday. So let's say we want to cut this, uh, print and cut this, but we want to cut out each individual letter. So we have to create cut lines. So here's a quick, easy way to do that. So the first thing we do is make sure our layers tab is open. If it's not, click window, click on layers. Then go down to your layers tag, tab, click on your art, drag down to the plus sign, and we're going to duplicate it. And then we're going to click on that and rename it cut lines. So now we have two separate layers. We're going to turn off our art. We're going to, with the selection tool selected, drag across and select everything. We're going to go to Object, Expand, whatever the defaults are, click OK. What we have just done is converted text to a vector-based file where now we can create cut lines. So the first thing we do is click on our fill color, turn it off, click on our stroke and assign it our cut line which uh, where did it go a cut line's not there well that's okay so we're going to give our stroke a color and as a bonus we're going to teach you how to create a cut line so with our cut selected we're going to click new swatch we're going to call it cut contour kiss just like that change to a spot color doesn't matter what color it is, Raster Link looks at the name, but I always make my spot colors 100% magenta. So now we've got our cut line created and we've got our art file created. The problem we have right now is we have no bleed. Our cut line is directly on the edge of the artwork. And if, you, if you're uh, not printing anything complicated, you might get away with that, but we want a little bit of bleed. So we turn off the cut lines, come back and click on our art file. Again, drag across, select everything, and come up here and click on our stroke. And we're going to make it the same color as our fill. And we're going to come over here to stroke and we're going to get about a three point stroke. And you see, all I'm doing is enlarging the file. So three points is going to be plenty. And then when I click on my cut lines, you can see now I've got a little bleed built in. Now you could do that with expand path, I know, but this is just a super quick and easy way to do it. Then all we do is save this file just like it is. And uh, we're going to go over here to file document color mode, make sure it's CMYK, which it is. Save this, bring it into raster link. It'll recognize our cut lines and we can print out each individual letter. So that's a quick video on converting uh, creating cut lines for text. If you have any questions, please let me know. The best way to get in touch with me is by email or by text. And again, this is Michael Gass with PDS Equipment. Be sure to check out all our videos on PDS YouTube page and uh, call me, text me, email me if you have any questions. Thank you very much.